Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith, and I am here live in the control room at the one and only world-famous Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in Southend-on-Sea, England. I've got two very rare, very expensive microphones to share with you guys. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, hit subscribe, come join our circle of friends. You're going to learn a lot about really cool gear we get from all over the world. So, what do we have here? We've got two Neumann German-made U89 microphones. Very close serial numbers. They were both ordered at the same time. Number 1919 and 1958. It's a stereo pair. As you can see from the manual, these came out in 1980. All right. These were meant to be the universal uh, upgrade new technology replacement for the U87, which everyone has seen uh, in virtually every recording studio in the world. Looks very similar. It's a little bit larger than the same shape, though. Uh, the U89... If you look in the forums, look, look in all the posts, you'll hear that, ooh, they sound a bit darker than the U87s. And you'll hear universal approval of it being a better microphone. But why don't we see them everywhere? Well, if you look on the secondhand market, there's far fewer that show up and, and appear. Um, I can tell you the cases, like you get these beautiful, real leather, I think it even says it there, genuine leather cases gorgeous um you get more patterns and these are thought of as a superior mic to the u87 for recording uh far distant sounds like room mics and maintaining resolution everyone i've i could find anywhere on the internet that had u87s and u89s have all said universally unanimously have said the 89 is a better mic wow we just got these in from a uh, television and film studio in Kent. Kent is one of the big counties here in England. And if you look here, etched on the side, it says ME145NZ or 5NZ. That ME is from Medway. It's a town in Kent. 14 is how far you are from the center. And then 5NZ gets you into the specific property. That's that's the postcode off the TV studio. And if you look on the other side, TVS. That was the name of the film studios. So this came from TVS Studios. It The TVS Studios had been sold. I think they, they came out in uh, 1979, I think, is, if I remember. You can go on the website. If you type in Maidstone Studios, you can... Uh, um, you can see all of the uh, timelines and heritage behind the studios. They had Margaret Thatcher in there for uh, broadcast in 1984. So, I mean, they've done some of the biggest shows. If Fraggle Rock was in there. Um, loads of game shows, dating shows, news broadcasts. Uh, so much history behind these microphones. It's pretty incredible. And you're very unlikely to get a stereo pair of U89s with more history than these. I want to show you some of the paperwork. Because all of the paperwork is intact here. So we've got the exploded diagram. We've got the operating instructions. There we go. And we've got uh, what looks like a signal flow chart. I'm not an electrical engineer. But... That's for the U89. If you want to freeze frame this, go ahead. What I'll also do is I'm just going to go and slowly pan through this just in case this might be helpful for you. If you want to make a clone or if you've got one and it needs servicing. So I'm just going through this slowly. Hoping that one day in the comments section, someone's going to buy me a beer because this ended up being massively helpful for them there you go huh different colors german american interesting all right test points there we go and let's go talk about condition and the cases i'll pull this one out here so the case like we said real leather 
has the Neumann loco. You've got your serial number and a flashy foil model number. Now they put their model number over the, if you look here, over the factory, again, model number and serial number there. So that's on top of it. I don't know why they did that. See the genuine leather, genuine leather. And then it has kind of like a briefcase type latch. Looks like they came with a key. I don't know if the keys are in these. And you push down to pop open the top. And then let's see, let's have a look, see if these trays come out. Did these come out? No. So this is like a thick rubberized, yeah, housing. This is quite nice actually. And then you've got this plush kind of velvety red cushioned bit at the top. But this is all very thick, rubberized. They even put nice texture around it to make it look nice. Uh, doesn't remove as far as I can see. Yeah, really nice. So going back here, you can see 1919. And then if we look at the bottom of the microphone, we see 1919, made in Germany. And because these had decades of film, TV, regular use, you can see there's some dings in the, the housing. That is completely normal. Uh, on the grill, there's a slight indentation right there. Nothing that affects anything. There's all of our different... Uh, Let's see what we've got here. All right, so that just rotates between the two, it looks like. Yep. And on the other side for our patterns. All right. So I think we get two more patterns with this. There's your figure of eight. You get two more patterns than you do. Yep. There you go. Then the uh, the eighty seven. So this is number like we said. What was it? Nineteen nineteen. Both still have the the badge on them. That's great. This one, uh, no dents in the grill, it looks like. A few marks on the, see a few little dings on the housing. But again, these things were used for regular uh, TV and live broadcast. Serious, serious productions, 1958, made in Germany. Cool. Yeah, guys, this is just absolutely wild history. So I'll put that one back. Let's take a look at our operating instructions because there's some good graphics in here. I'm not going to go read this all to you. It's not story time with Keith, but you're more than welcome to freeze frame this and read it for yourself. Okay, fair enough. So I'm just going to hold it there for a second you can pause read and then i'm going to come down and uh pause and you can read great pause and you can read pause and you can read there we go you get the idea And here, you know, it's just important to do this because people, these manuals are always lost. You never get all the paperwork and it's just very helpful. I don't know if there's any sites that have these uh, scanned to it so you can see, but just so that in case there's some lonely dude or dudette out there who's like, geez, I wish I still had my manual. I wish I could find one. Well, now you don't need to worry. Your buddy Keith has got you covered. You can go and read all about the specifications and the test inputs. 
All right, so there we go. And then I'm going to get to the end of this where uh, you can see all the different patterns. And there we are. All right, I promise we're going to get through this. Aside from that, what's new in the studio? We've got some really exciting stuff. Big projects coming up. We're doing new music with Matt Terry, new music with Charlotte Aubrey. We've got a mega actor coming into the studio. Uh, here we go. Here's the good stuff. So here, I'll again, I'll pause this. Frequency response and polar patterns. You can see they're all pretty flat. You get a little bump at the end. But here's your frequency response. There. Okay. So you can go through that, pause that. And you can see the, the patterns that they correspond to. There you go. five patterns there there's the top three there's the bottom three and here you can see there's a little like under bump with your figure of eight all right and oh we're we'll getting to the end of this very good very good Yep, accessories, all that good stuff. How to attach to a boom. I don't think we need any more explaining with that. Floor stands. Yep, 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 yep. Studio booms. That's nice. Neumann trying to upsell us at the end of the uh, instruction manual. Good job. That's salesmanship 101 right there, Neumann. Yep. And then you've got all your... Other accessories, your windscreen, cool. Well, someone will just get a kick out of looking at this old manual. That's it. Anything on the back of this? Nothing on the back of that? All right, ladies and gents, that is your visual condition report and up-close details of your Neumann U89 microphones. If you want to buy these, they are for sale. You can get a pair of beautiful German mics uh, that come from a serious studio with major provenance and history. I mean, you've got the postcode etched with the name of the film studio, TVS, right? And uh, I wonder if TVS just stands for Television Studios. I bet it does. Funny. But yeah, guys, they can be yours. Go to our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. Or go to Reverb.com and you can find them there. We're selling them as a pair or individually. I hope someone buys the pair because it would be a crime to split these up. It's so hard to find them and the serial numbers are right next to each other. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you appreciate a little something different here on the channel. If you're not familiar with Neumann mics, they make the best microphones in the world. They are industry standard for the very best studios. I'd like to think we can count up there with the very best studios. And uh, we will definitely be using these until they sell. We might actually even end up keeping them, depending on how hard James falls in love with them. But we are trying to raise some money to buy some more important gear. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. They are for sale. We just got them in. We're real excited about them. And we're really excited to share them with you guys. If you're new to the channel, uh, again, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. For everyone that's returned, thank you so much. We are like ones of people away from 9,000 subscribers. And then we are on the march to 10,000. Yes. So, so exciting. Essex Recording Studios, thanks you very, very much, guys. I'll catch you all later, and uh, stay tuned. More gear videos and guitar videos coming up very soon, just after this. Bye.